Hi, I'm Renee from Ilsley Public Library. I'm here in our kitchen today with Narinda Kaur from Taste of India. Narinda here has kindly agreed to do a program with us talking to us about the meaning and the traditions of their holiday, Diwali, which is a festival of lights. Part of the tradition is food, and lucky for us, Narinda is here to teach us how to make a uh, vegetable pakora. So take it away, Narinda. Thank you, Renee. Um, hi, I'm Narinda Kaur, and I am so honored to be here. And I thank you, Renee, and the Ilsley Public Library to do this for um, Diwali's festival. And we agreed we'll make some vegetable pakoras. I find this is the easiest or something that's available at every kitchen in every home. Um, so you can just come up and throw whatever vegetables you want and we'll just make some vegetable pakoras for you guys today. Thank I wish you. we had smell-o-vision because it's already <laughs> smelling so delicious in here. All right, so just to save the time, I've already chopped my vegetables. Um, there's one medium-sized onion and it's like um, thinly sliced, you know, if you can yeah. see that. And so it's not a dice, it's just thin. Yeah, thinly sliced like this. And then I uh, did a medium potatoes. It could be russet potato, it could be gold okay. potatoes. And I've sliced some spinach in it. Mm. There's green cilantro. You can also add um, bell peppers, cauliflower, whatever vegetables you would like to. Oh, great. And then I'm going to put, there's some, um, some people use vinegar, some might use yogurt, some people um, use oil to make them softer, mm. and I've added some lemon juice, like one spoon of lemon juice in there. Then I have some, um, this is ground spices, there's coriander, cumin seed, um, this is also called garam masala. Yes. Then I have fenugreek Greek leaves, they're um, crushed here. It's red peppers. You can also use green chilies. Okay. You just finely chop them. There's some salt, turmeric. I have, um, this is roasted cumin seed powder. Oh. And I'll also have cumin seeds in here. And did you roast the cumin seed and grind it yourself or did yes. you buy it that no, way? No, I did it. This is what um, we also make a, a garam masala at home. You can add nutmegs. There is um, cardamoms in there too. Mm, some of my favorites. Yep, and then I have a ginger garlic paste and this is some baking powder. Okay. Um, For those of you following along at home, Narinder's going to have, we're going to have an ingredients list at the end, so don't rush to write things down. And then I have, um, it's called graham flour, it's chickpeas, so chickpea flour, flour for binding of it and battering the vegetables to get them together. Now for this graham flour, I know that there's a delicious Indian market up in the north end of um, Burlington. Is there any place closer than that that you know of where we can get these delicious no, ingredients? We go to Burlington to okay. get this stuff. Okay. Or if somebody's going to um, New Jersey, New York, Montreal, okay. there's big Indian market so you can get stuff there. Okay, great. Yep, so we'll start adding spices. And you're just eyeballing it because you've been doing this yes, forever. Yes. So uh, that was probably about a teaspoon, I'm just going to guess, for um, folks that are thinking about spoon, it. This is my spoon. There you go. Yeah. Um, for peppers, mm -hmm. you want to do it according to your taste. And you can always add more. If you already added too much, you can't take it out. Right. So that's maybe one teaspoon of salt. Again, with salt, you can do it... Um, as you like, salty or less salty. Mm -hmm. I added some um, turmeric. There it goes, some um, cumin seed powder. And that's a little bit of garam. I think I did that. I one. think you started with garam masala. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. And some cumin seeds just to taste. And we'll add, I don't know what you would call it, a little bit. Yeah, it looks like maybe a couple teaspoons to me. A couple teaspoons. <laughs> ginger garlic paste. Now, is that something you made? Did you just whiz up some ginger and some garlic together? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
Um, you can also use um, just dried um, ginger powder yeah. you get from the store. Oh, but the fresh is so much more delicious. And teensy bit of the baking powder. Okay. Just to make them softer. Isn't that interesting? And we have to mix everything together. Yeah. While we're going to mix those things. Yes. We will start the gas and um, add some oil. Okay. In the pan for deep frying. Yeah. So we're really going for it when you you're putting yeah. enough oil in there to so that deep fry them. So yeah, so they're going to be covered and floating, not pan yes. frying. No. Right. And do, do you care what kind of oil? Do you have well, a favorite this, oil? Uh, no, we use uh, canola oil at home. Yeah. You can also use vegetable oil. Traditionally, it was supposed to be um, mustard oil right. because um, in India you grow mustard at at, on your in your fields, mm. so you have so many mustard seed that you um, have them turn into. Um, you get oil out of it. Isn't that interesting? And also, I guess the same for the countries who have so many olives. So right, that you get olive oil, which is what I use because my husband's yeah. Italian. <laughs> All right, we turn the heat for high. Yeah. Um, but for this much oil, it'll take about. 10 minutes, depending on how much the heat of your gas is. Yes. Um, so let it get hot, and while this is coming to the heat yeah. temperature, we'll just mix things in there. And uh, for those folks at home that might have a countertop deep fryer, could they use that for this yes. for the frying process? Yes. So I have not used that myself, so I would not know what temperature. But yeah. So we just gonna heat it. Um, thoroughly and when we start making the pakoras this the temperature will have to be medium heat got it so it's not going to be boiling oil it just have to be medium heat on the gas okay great yes. all right we'll just start the same thing so it's the acid and the lemon juice that makes softens things up right uh, for softening also to cut the sweetness of the uh, vegetables. Oh, I see. Yeah, I you see. You don't want them. This is a savory um, appetizer. Yeah, right? You don't want them to be tasting sweet. And then the baking soda, is that the same way? That's kind of make the pakoras um, fluffy, softer. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. I would have never thought of baking soda in something like this, mm -hmm. in the filling part. Yeah. So, All right, okay. so we're starting with a half a cup of graham flour. Yeah, and I'm gonna put one more just on the side to see how much I need more. Got it. It can change with the size of your vegetables. If your onions and potatoes are small, you're gonna end up using less to bind it. Mm, right, that's interesting. So it doesn't have to be a running consistency. But it's definitely you, wetter than I expected. Yes. So you want to have a consistency where you can put the balls to, together. It doesn't have to be, sorry. Yeah, it doesn't have to be balls, but um, you're putting a little bit of vegetables together to fry. Yeah, very so interesting. This is a, and if, if there's not enough binding, uh -huh. your veg, when, once you put them in the oil, you're binding, um, this is going to spread like this. Ah. So you want enough um, binding there, enough flour to coat it. To make it all stick. Yeah. But not so much flour that it tastes like a big ball of flour. Yes, yeah. not so much. And um, then if there's too much flour, it won't cook thoroughly because we'll put a little bit more flour and then we'll just keep mixing it. So I guess we used Three half cups, right? Yeah. And then maybe another quarter cup. Yeah. So just under a cup is, uh, or just under two cups is it? Yes. Uh, for one medium potato and one medium onion, um, I use like a handful of uh, spinach in there. Okay. okay. And is cilantro a common um, 
Yeah. Or can you yeah. guys use yeah. for yeah. India? India? Yeah. And cilantro seeds are coriander. Coriander. Seeds. I knew so that there. was in yes. the garam yes. masala. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's start. I think we can try making it. Okay. Um. How I can need I help? a pan to put the pakoras out when they come out? Yes. All right. I'm on it. So depending on how much oil you have put in your pan, keep leaving little space because we're gonna um right so that they don't bump up against each other yeah. and then get crispy. All right. And if you've never done such things before with hot oil, just be careful. Just understand. be careful. Yeah. Yes, one of those cookie scoopers would work well with this. Yeah. If you haven't worked with hot oil, you wouldn't have to get your fingers so close. Yep. Yeah. All right. I got this. I'll use this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. So, oh, the library is going to smell delicious today. <laughs> Do you have a exhaust fan or no? No, we don't. It's not a real cooking, but when we're done, I can crack open the window. Okay, so um, after a minute or so, I'm going to try to flip them. As you can see, uh, the bottom was turning a little brown. Yeah. So I'm just going to flip them one by one just to uh, fry them equally on yep. the, all sides. And um, depending how many you put in your pan, it usually takes about four to five minutes to cook them. And in between, you will be flipping them or just like uh, rolling your um, pakoras with your, what right. do you call it, see? Uh, a slotted spoon, I, it, that one's a little different than a slotted spoon. I don't know yeah. if it has a special name. Spoon with holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> so because when I'm gonna scoop them out, all the oil will just stay in the pan. Yes. That's why we use this one. We don't want oil in the pakoras. We don't want oil in the pakoras. Yeah. We just want them fried in the oil. But in olden time, when there was not olden time, but when when people don't have that kind of sources, yeah, and that's all you have, you know, we so the tomatoes, onion, potatoes, garlic, ginger. It's always available in Indian families because that goes in your everyday food. Yeah. In the curries. So if someone just showed up without any notice, which was very common in our families before, mm. when women's always at home, um, so it's like, oh, let's go visit them or something, you know. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to Narinder for coming and teaching us this wonderful recipe. I'm definitely going to try it at home. I hope everybody else who's watching this video tries it at home. And uh, maybe we'll get you back in for another time sometime soon. Sure. Something right. different. <laughs> Something different. Thank you, Miranda. Yes, thank you, Renee, and thanks to Ilsley Public Library again. Um, I'm sorry it's not much detail by measurement, but I will try to do my best to put the recipe um, in the links, I would say. <laughs> All right, thank you. Enjoy Bye. your day.